What's up, everyone? My name is Lauren Wilson. I am a white belt in jiu-jitsu at Red Hawk Academy in Peoria, Arizona. And this is just my jiu-jitsu chronicles vlog. Wanted to update you guys on, on what I learned this week. Just giving you a white belt's perspective, but also just trying to have some fun. Hold myself accountable as well. Continue to grow in the sport by having a medium for some constructive feedback, some constructive conversation. And for those of you that might be considering jiu-jitsu or the fellow white belts out there, hopefully this can help with your decision-making. But if you're also a fellow white belt, hopefully we can continue to support each other and hold each other accountable and motivate each other to, to stay in the sport, to stay active with the sport. So how this is going to work is I'm going to show you a little bit of footage I took this week, and then we're going to watch my five-minute roll, so a full five-minute roll, and I'll just kind of break down my thoughts on it and what I learned. So this week I went to jiu-jitsu on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Adding a third day a week is new for me. So my background, I started jiu-jitsu in April like the beginning of April. I've been a distance runner and an endurance athlete my entire life. So when I first started jiu-jitsu, I was kind of just seeing how my body responded. And just like I thought, I was pretty sore. I was having some alignment issues with my hips and with my spine. And so I had to adjust my training in the weight room and with my mobility work, not in a bad way. I just had to adjust it so that I could do some more jujitsu specific work to get my body stronger in some of these positions that I was finding myself in on a regular basis. So this was my second week to have a third session. This was the Tuesday session. So how every practice is set up is we will warm up for about five to 10 minutes and then we will go into some drills. So the coach will show us two to three drills. We'll drill with our partners usually. And then we have what's called live rounds for the last 20 to 30 minutes, whether it's one minute at a time, switching partners, three minutes at a time, four minutes at a time, five minutes at a time, trying to put into practice maybe what we did that day, or we can just do a full live round. But we usually start off from the position that we practiced on that day. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Enough of me talking, fool, right? And so this is my role partner on the day, Lisa. So Lisa is also a white belt. She has, I believe, two or three stripes. So you can get a good insight into one stripe white belt versus three stripe white belt. And real quick, before I even go into this, uh. I love rolling with girls and not for the reason that you might have thought right away, but really it's because there's a lot it this the gym is mostly males. It's predominantly males and so the girls just because they're not as strong or as fast necessarily, they can't rely as much as the guys on pure athleticism. So the the females are very skillful and very methodical with their jiu-jitsu game. And so it's really fun to to roll with them and to drill with them. Um, besides, there's a whole lot of other reasons, but that's the main one for now. So let's go ahead and get in here. And so what we were practicing today was, was sweeps. And so just for a little bit of context, I recently, I've been practicing just kind of full guard. I've been practicing framing. I've been practicing like elbow knee. That way people can't really pass my guard. Just getting as, as confident and as strong with that as possible. I didn't have any offensive game at all, but recently I've been able to pass people's guards, get into side control. And then I was like, I have no idea what to do after that. I have really no submission game. I have really no sweep game during this Tuesday session, but by the end of the week, I actually did have a little bit of those those skills. And the reason that's important to point out is because you want to have a really strong defense first because every time you go for an offensive move, 
you open yourself up to risk to get swept back into defense. So if you're not confident with your defense, you're not going to commit fully to the offensive attack. And so this is us practicing some sweeps, and this is literally the first time that I actually practice some sweeps. So what I did was doing is I have her in full guard. That's what that is called. So let me let's see. Is she going to get me into full guard next here? Okay, so Coach Ryan's talking. Okay, so full guard, this is from, we'll go from the side. So, right, when you're in full guard, the person on the bottom is actually in an offensive position. Even though the person here on the top is on top, they're actually in a um, defensive position, and the person on bottom is in an offensive position. Why is that? Because my legs are in control of Lisa's legs are in control of my drill partner's legs. And so I have my arms and my legs to attack and my partner only really has the, their arms to attack right here. And this can change really quickly. She can create some space, get her leg, uh, break my guard, get her legs back in the game. So there's, there's constant speed and there's constant variables, but at the white belt level, the game is relatively slow for the most part and there's not as many weapons just because us white belts don't have as many moves so you don't have to really worry about a whole lot of leg locks foot locks heel hooks or things like that because we're just we just don't have enough skill set or knowledge foundations and so really here in the full guard what i would want to do is break the posture that means i'm trying to pull lisa towards me so she has her grips on me I'm going to break her grip, and then I posture her, and I didn't use my legs. I should have used my legs to get her as I pull her across. And so what you notice there is when I pull her across, now her back is exposed. I'm going to use my left leg to shrimp off, kick my right leg up, and then I was trying to sweep, and so now I'm in that offensive position. And so that's what the sweep is. It's going from that defensive position to that offensive position. So Coach Ryan gave us a couple more tips, but so now you have a different angle. I grab her leg, and then I roll on over. And I don't even remember the name of this sweep, um, but it's pretty sweet. So right, I'm here, break the grip, boom, pull across, boom, grab the lat. So now I have a lot of control here. On the open, exposed side, I'm going to use that left leg to kick out my hips, create the angle. I kicked up my right leg to her right armpit, and then I'm trying to use my left leg to kick underneath. So I use my left arm that's on the lat to pull to the left. I use my left leg. I kick it out and down to create momentum. And then my right arm went under and hooked underneath her left leg and so then that's going to create those three points to roll over and so that's kind of just the sweep that we practiced over and over i'll show you one more angle here and so right we're, we're drilling we're just getting a feel for it we're not even really going at that full speed to be honest with you i'm very hesitant still because i don't want to hurt myself and more importantly i don't want to hurt my partner so i'm still just trying to figure out strength and power when it comes to drilling and when it comes to to rolling so i'll go ahead and let you see lisa because she has some more experience and you can see how she's a lot more smooth with that you can see her hand went underneath my leg and then rolled me over and so you can just tell like i was saying lisa been doing this longer than me has three stripes on her white belt and you can tell how much more fluid and how much more quick she is at the drills and grabs my leg shrimps out and rolls on over from deep, um, from that guard position to a full mount position, which is a lot stronger position to finish. So let's go ahead. Let's stop with that one. Open up the next one. All right. So the next drill that we did. Girls doing back there. Did it freeze? Oh, the game. So she was grabbing, shrimping. And then, oh, then we were crawling to the back. And so, yeah, let's skip out a little bit. All right. Play, 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 play. All right. Apologies about that. But, hey, we still cooking. We still here. Let's see what we got. 
All right, so I'm going to go into her full guard, and then what we were doing is we were sneaking around to get onto the back. So she pulls me across, grabs my lat again, pulls that right leg through, and then all the way around onto the back, right? So now you're taking back. So we went from a full guard to full mount sweep, and then we went to a full guard to back control sweep. And so I'll let you watch me here. So right, I broke her grip, pulled her across, broke this center line, and then crawled around. As you can see, my right leg got stuck as she went to elbow knee. And so that's one of the most important concepts is to close off that, that elbow knee space because that creates a, a strong frame. And now we can't get chest to chest connection. And as you can even see here, it was instinctual for her and I couldn't get my right foot to slide through and so I was like okay I guess I'll just put my left leg here and crawl into your back and not even get the right leg so whatever and so yeah those were the sweeps for the day those were the drills for the day let's go ahead and go to Lisa and I rolling and so we're gonna start off here kind of just shaking hands like you're supposed to keep it uh Good sportsmanship, right? Good sportsmanship. And so like I was saying, you start off from the position, and now we're just going. It's pretty much like a scrimmage here. And what you can tell right away is I forgot how to break the guard. I just hadn't early on in your jiu-jitsu, or at least in my jiu-jitsu journey, you will try to learn a move, and then you kind of forget it. So I was breaking guard real good, real well, just like last week. And then I kind of just forgot what to do. But you'll see later in the video – Lisa breaking my guard relatively easy and so she has her feet really locked and then she's trying to maintain her her grip she's going to maybe try to pull out some triangles try to break my posture and then break my center line what I'm trying to do right here because I can't really do too much is I got to break the grips of her legs around me and so what I would should have done is I should have stood up and then just started backing up to try to break the legs and then push the legs down. But as you can see, I just kept going forward into the full guard and was messing around with the grips. And so I let her make the first move. And then as soon as she went for an attack, like I said, it exposes and you kind of can lose your advantageous position if you don't capitalize on the attack. So you can see she unhooks her legs and tries to go for a triangle or tries to go for something else. So I break it a little bit, and then she's like, okay, let me try to sweep with this hand, see if I can kick the right leg over. But as I was saying, I don't know a whole lot about jiu-jitsu, but my background is in biomechanics, exercise science. I work out a whole lot, and I've been an athlete pretty much my entire life. So just watch me kind of transition to side control really quickly as soon as I was out, right? So into side control. Boom, then I fall down into open guard. And so then I'm going to play this open guard game, maintain uh, four points of connection. So that's kind of one of the big principles when you're on the ground in guard is if you can maintain four points of connection, you they can't attack you. And so then I go into full guard, and you can see here Lisa is going to broker posture. So really... I got the triangle like two weeks ago, so I've been obsessed with just like continuing to get it because it was such a high to get the tap on a triangle, but I'll be real, I haven't been able to get it since, and I keep failing, but hey, got to keep going for it, right? Got to shoot your shot, miss 100% of the shots uh, you don't take, shooters got to shoot, you know how it go. But yeah, as you can see, Lisa's doing a lot better job than me, and this is why I like filming it, and this is why I like studying it. Not only do I like studying other people such as John Thomas, uh, Donaher, and and Mikey Muzumuchi. Um, I probably butchered that name, but it is what it is. Uh, sorry, Mikey. Respect. But you want to watch your own film because you want to watch your own level. You can't just be watching Purple Belts and Black Belts. They might be good teachers, but you need to learn what you're doing because it's such fast pace in the, in the moment you might not know. And so I wasn't even aware of why I couldn't break the guard, but then I was watching Lisa, and as you can tell, she's lifting me up, she's pushing her hips back into horse stance, and she's leaning back, trying to break the grip on my legs, and so then I let go, and so I'm really, really confident in my open guard, 
because I can get my knees all the way to my chest and maintain that elbow knee connection. And I've done it versus guys a lot bigger than me. So I'm always really, really confident in that open guard um, position. I really, to be honest with you, just get in trouble because I, I try different submissions just because I want to get better. And that's usually when I will get into guillotines and uh, get kind of messed up there. But yeah, just kind of maintaining it. You can see here that she's trying to break my posture all the way. I'm just kind of maintaining that full guard hold here. She's trying to break it again. I'm trying to maintain my grip. She lifts me up a lot. And then I'm going to just drop back down. I'm trying to wear her out there. Boom, grab the leg kind of rotate over, like I said, really confident with my elbow knee connection and with my framing. And I just continue to go for that triangle choke. Like I said, I don't have any other <laughs> moves in my arsenal. So it's uh, it's just one of those things, just go for it. And so right here, the reason I'm not getting it is there's a lot of space. So I need to pull this left arm more across the, the body and I need to shoot my upper body over to the left a lot more to get her to come across my body to my to my left. And so that's going to put her deeper into my left foot needs to be out to the right more. And then I need to clamp down with my right foot. But I just couldn't get it. Um, I was trying to just maintain, trying to hold, trying to hold, trying to hold. She has a lot of space, has a lot of space. And then I'm like, okay, uh... I'm not going to be able to finish this, so let's let's not waste our time here. She does a good job breaking it. And then you got Sean O'Malley makes a little, oh, my gosh. Right? Look at this. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? And I don't know if we're allowed to show this, but it is what it is. But he's like, Mah! what is that, dude? Come on. Anyways, then Lisa and I are rolling back into full guard. I just continue to go really for that triangle. Then I'm like, okay, let me try to sweep her. I just try to learn that. I was like, I can't do the sweep. I can't do it. So then we're back here, break her posture. And then I've been studying the arm bar. I'm like, can I get an arm bar? Could I get an arm bar? I see the arms. I'm trying to add some weapons to my arsenal besides just the triangle. But I, I've been afraid to commit to the arm bar because I don't want to hurt anybody. I really don't want to hurt anybody. And so... But I know I can't get the triangle, so you're about to see. I'm about to kick my right leg over here and grab the arm. I saw it, and I was like, oh, you're going to lift me up again? Boom. But then I can't get it. She turned out of it really quickly. And I'm like, okay, now what are we doing? Take a look at the camera. Got to look good. You know how it go. Look good for YouTube. Look good for the gram. And then I'm still grabbing the arm. Then I was like, you know what? Maybe I can get like a foot lock. I've never done it before, but might as well try here. And we're going back and forth. We're scrambling. We're scrambling. And then coach says there's about a minute left. And I'm like, all right, time to unload some of this endurance a little bit. Try to unload some of this strength a little bit. Stand back up. Boom. Side control. Like I was saying, just I can pretty much get that almost at will, to be honest with you, on lots of people. Um, and so what I did, if you want to take a look. Okay, that's going to go really slow. So what you do is, right, she's going to be here. She's in the open guard. And then what I did was I had the grips on the knees, on the legs, and I throw the legs to the left, and then I step to the right. So I throw the legs because you can see she's trying to maintain the four points of connection, trying to maintain the feet on my hips. I throw the legs to the left. I jump around, side control, try to get chest to chest but I'm not able to do it. I don't get my legs wide enough. I throw the arm around, then I get seat belt or cross uh, face. And then what she's trying to do is maintain elbow knee connection. So she wants to get her left knee in on my hips and she wants to get her left elbow to her left knee in front of my chest and in front of my hips. And then maybe one of her, uh, uh, her right foot to her chest. And then, cause she, you don't want to be chest to chest cause that's the, the main part of the control here. So she's trying to hit bridge, and usually what I've been trying to do is maybe go to full mount and then try to get my legs around their head because that's how I pulled off one of the submissions a couple weeks ago, but I haven't been able to do it since. And so this time I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this arm bar. So I'm setting it up. You see my right leg go. She's trying to turn out, 
And I'm like, no, 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 no. And this is like one of my first attempts at an arm bar. So I probably went way too fast. Like that looked violent. Boom. But I didn't get it. And as you can see, why I didn't get it, look at her right leg. So this is really good intuition. She's trying to get out. She's trying to get the right, the left knee in. She goes down. She's trying to get the left knee in. Then she kicks it straight up. So I pull the arm. And I'm trying to get my left leg and my right leg over her face and then pull the arm down and grab the wrist and lift my hips up. That's what the arm bar is. But you can see as I throw to, go to kick and grab the arm, she does a really good job. Looks at, Look at that kick up in the air. So she bridged with that. She got her right foot on the ground, pushed the hips up and the leg up, and that created a shield, and I couldn't get my foot in. And so I got the arm, but I missed it. Didn't get any of my legs around at all and so it's pretty much the end of the round so really what i learned let's go ahead and switch this back so it was a really good session really good drills really good rolling session with lisa i learned a lot from practicing with her and i learned a lot about um from from filming it and i was able to so what did i learn i learned to get into the horse stance and back up and push the legs down so create that backward pressure against the full guard while you also push down uh, using that force vector there um you want to break the posture get the person across and then shrimp really hard with your body to get a triangle so that's the second thing i learned and then the third thing was um be on the lookout for the arm bar, especially at the white belt level. Um, a lot of white belts aren't confident with it. So if you can get confident with it in practice, you do want to make sure that you're safe and you're going slow. Most of us aren't professional jujitsu fighters, so there's no point in, in hurting somebody else. So be careful. With that said, it's it's always open and, and it's really vulnerable at the white belt level. I haven't really seen it pulled off that well a lot of white belts with like three or four stripes will try it a lot but they're just to be honest with you it's not that good at it and so if you can get good at it you can really start to separate yourself and it's always there and so from that on thursday i was able to come into class and, and got my first arm bar i was on a, a guy's back he was in turtle position so i was able to get onto his back he was about two and a half times bigger than me, so I'm only 5'7", about 140 to 145 pounds, depending on my training cycle, carbohydrate, and hydration status. So I'm not that big, and so I go roll against people a lot bigger than me quite often, and I really don't know enough about the sport or, or care, to be honest, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but with that said, so I was going against a guy about – Really, really, really big. And so I was on his back, and I just couldn't get my hooks in, and I'm not really good at guillotine. So I jumped off of his back, grabbed his right arm, jumped off to the left, and was able to get the tap. So that was super cool. But then I was like, oh, my gosh, did I hurt you? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But, no, nah, it was really just um, – no, I didn't get hurt. Uh, I guess it's also fair if I'm going to talk about my arm bars, I should talk about my submission. So after this roll with Lisa, I got guillotined. Um, by a guy smaller than me, about 10 pounds lighter than me. And um, really what happened there was I missed a triangle, and he ended up breaking my guard because I shot for the triangle. He broke my guard and then got me into a um, got into a scramble. And then when I tried to sweep him, I got caught in his arms in a guillotine and, and had to tap. And then kind of the same thing happened on Thursday as well. So Thursday, I kind of got guillotined, again, trying to go for a sweep and not able to execute it. And so that put me in a disadvantageous position and then got guillotined. And then was able to pull the arm bar. And then Friday, I was able to pull off the arm bar. But this time, my coach, I had somebody locked up in – I was in full mount, moved up to having my legs around their head, and I was trying to squeeze, trying to pull, trying to get the triangle to choke that way, and my coach was like, go for the arm bar. And so then I was able to grab the arm and, and get the tap. And so, yeah, I hope uh, that was kind of the week. It was really fun. I, I, I really enjoy doing this. I really, it helps me process. It helps me learn just watching the film again and talking about it out loud. I hope you got something out of it, and if you're a white belt, 
Keep fighting the good fight. Don't give up. Let's do this thing together. All right. My name's Lauren Wilson, White Belt, One Stripe, Red Hawk Academy. I'm out.